what the end will be. It was a 2017 commission that I'm thrilled to finally be showing with the world. Well, look at us. <laughs> I guess apples don't fall too far from the tree. It's about a family called the Kennedys who live in Atlanta, Georgia, and they are processing what it means to just be fathers and sons and mortals in a really difficult time. A story that explores being black and queer and also what happens at the end of life. What's so beautiful about this show is you take a very specific story and you illuminate a universal truth, which is about accepting, healing, love, joy, freedom. The show was transformed. I mean, Monza was very open to changing the play as the world changed over the past two years. This play means so much to me. Uh, from the first time I read it, it uh, embedded itself into my soul and in my heart. You're gonna laugh, you're gonna cry. It's an hour and 20 minutes long, the perfect length of theater. There are gay kisses, there are love stories, there are father-son moments. It is a three-dimensional story about what it means to be us. The creative team is in their bag. They're great, they're collaborative, they're open to change, they're open to input. Feels good to feel like you have some agency over your work. One of the most professional, competent, talented group of people I've ever worked with. Roundabout has made a lot of room for different voices and bodies and people to be present wherever they are in their life and creative process. Roundabout is my New York artistic home. It's thrilling to be back for my third production. My career as a professional playwright has started here. This is the biggest show I've ever done. It's just been amazing to work at a place that uh, has such deep roots in the American theater canon, and I'm thrilled to be a part of it. As we continue to deepen the nuances and specificity of black queer joy, black queer love, black queer healing, um, mourning and, and, and leaning into that discomfort as a community, the more that we are going to be better for it. The universality of all of the themes yanked tears, and that makes me happy because it, it lets me know that people are listening and people are engaged. I love this play, and I think audiences love it too. The most powerful thing that anybody coming to see this show and coming to see any work that I'm a part of is understanding that you might not know everything, but you will come leaving better and brighter and more knowledgeable and more compassionate for people that don't look like you, don't sound like you, don't feel like you, but are you none the same? And it's a really exciting new piece by a really talented young writer. What is special about theater is that you sit in a room with strangers watching masterful storytellers like Keith Randolph Smith tell you things that your soul didn't know it needed to hear. So please come and cry and mourn and grieve, but also like laugh and have a couple of awes and oohs with us. Happy Pride Month. Come see what the end will be at the Laura Pels Theater on 46th Street.